Jo Leute, herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Part Raincoat. Ja, nachdem wir die Wie-Fragen abgeschlossen haben, die drei, mehr oder weniger, und nun die Wer-Frage hinter uns hatten, denn wir haben den Fall mit Aiko nun mehr oder weniger geklärt, also zumindest haben wir herausgefunden, wer vermutlich die Täter dahinter waren, nämlich, äh, hier sie nochmal Karen. Nun haben wir eine neue Wie-Frage, nämlich wie haben die drei ein unmögliches Verbrechen bewerkstelligt? Die drei Gänge scheinen irgendwie miteinander verbunden zu sein, also vermuten wir, dass die drei zusammengearbeitet haben. Und ja, wie gesagt, da die Gänge miteinander verbunden sind, denke ich mal, ist es egal, welchen Weg wir jetzt wählen. Irgendwie kommt man ja am Ende wohl dahin. Solange wir nicht genervt werden. Solange hier keine Gegner kommen. Yoshiko went to the lab for the poison as soon as the performance began. She had the extra glass hidden in her bag, and after she brushed poison onto it, she put it back in her bag and returned to her seat in the front row as if nothing happened. The problem is, what happened next? Was hat Yoshiko mit dem giftigen Glas gemacht, nachdem sie es gebracht hatte? Isn't this the how was the poison mixed into the glass root? Wow! And really connected! Yoshiko sat on the right edge of the front row close to the wings, where the actors enter and exit from scenes. She probably stood up when the lights went out and left the poison's glass near the right wing. Even if she couldn't get on stage, she could at least do that within five seconds. Then, Warna picked up the glass and hid it under her costume. The costume check happens before the performance. So she got around that by receiving the cup during the performance. I see. So they passed the baton during the five seconds the lights were out. The two of them must have rehearsed it as much as the rest of the play. But what happened after that? Suppose Waruna did get the poison glass. How did she swap it with the real glass while the play was still ongoing? A few moments after the blackout, there's a scene where Warna approaches the shelf. It only lasts two or three seconds, but Warna's hands in the shelf are completely hidden from the audience. At that moment, Warna could have switched out the original glass with the poisoned one. So they used the play itself for their seemingly impossible crime. Talk about guts. 
This is something only thespians could pull off. <laughs> Shinigami? <laughs> Isn't there a safer way down? Master, hurry up and break this one down too! Right. Er könnte ja mal selber laufen, ne? Wie wurde das vergiftete Glas ausgewählt? chosen it. From here, it's exactly as we solved it before. Kurune told Karin beforehand to take the glass the spotlight hits first. And then, after confirming the poisoned glass from the catwalk above, the spotlight was pointed directly at it. And that's the method behind the murder weapon. solves this mystery. We've almost reached the truth. Seriously? That's terrible. Huh? Why? Because I haven't gotten Shinigami to fall for me yet. That's not gonna happen. Even if you stayed here for a hundred years. In fact, I basically hate your guts. You know, <laughs> beyond the hate, There could be love. It's kind of like traveling the globe. You and I can go in opposite directions. But eventually, we'll meet. That's a stretch. Ugh, I feel sick. This is the last wall. Ja, es gibt ja eigentlich nur eine Möglichkeit, ne? Yes, it fell. And behind that door is the Who Room. We finally made it. It's time to end this, Master. Heißt, wir werden wahrscheinlich gleich zur Burg kommen und dann Gott Shinigami. Mal sehen, ob ich die Steuerung noch kann. <lacht> Zum Glück wird es ja angezeigt. Looks like all the culprits are here. But there. Why do they look so sad? How oh, boring! You call yourselves the final bosses of the Mystery Labyrinth? Then start acting like it! Might as well guard the truth till the end at this point! <laughs> there! Und das die späte Reue.
Okay, got Shinigami. Let's go. Ganz ähnlich wie beim ersten, äh, beim letzten Mal, ne? Wo ich auch den Anfang verkackt habe. Einmal müssen wir das wahrscheinlich noch wiederholen. Naja, das haben wir aber schon herausgefunden, dass ihr was zu tun hattet. Bekommen. Ihr euch selbst zu verschulden. Okay. Den Run haben wir schon mal geschafft. Ja, wir haben es ja gerade bekommen, dass ihr eben doch was miteinander zu tun habt. Und jetzt dürfen wir das Ganze nur zusammensetzen, ne? This is just a guess, but you three weren't actually on bad terms with each other, were you? 
In fact, it was all an act to get revenge for Aiko. You all cherished the same picture with her. It was originally a single photo of you all together, with Aiko in the middle. You were all close friends. And when you connect the pictures together... Everyone is there, smiling. So... why? Come on, we've got work to do before you get all sappy. Let's go! One more push and we'll be done with this labyrinth! <sighs> What would a hero do? A real defender of justice would defeat evil here and now and be done with it. But I'm no hero. All I want is the truth. And the truth is right here. So why go any further? Will solving this mystery really make anyone happy? Master? Do you sympathize with them? That's not something a detective should do. Your job is to solve mysteries, isn't it? If so, you have to expose the truth. You have to prove it in a way anyone can understand and anyone can see. Detectives aren't defenders of justice. They're defenders of truth. Defenders of truth. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. It's easier said than done. Yuma, if you can't do it, I can take your place. No. I'll do it. I'll take responsibility. I'll see this through. In diesem Fall kann es sogar wirklich ein bisschen oh, fast mehr noch nachvollziehen als bei den anderen Fällen, aber ja. Es ist nun mal so, dass hier jemand gestorben ist. Hier Gestein wird dann wahrscheinlich hier sein. Jo. Ich kann auch Juma verstehen, dass er hier sagt, äh, dass er das nicht will. Wieso will der... Äh, hallo? Ah, ich war halt ganz außen schon. Okay. Als was wurde Alkos Todesursache getarnt? Können wir noch nicht beantworten. Hier ist nichts. Was hat Yoshiko auf das Glas getan? Wohin ist Yoshiko gegangen? Kann ich auch noch nicht beantworten. Was hat Varuna getan? Ja, hier das Glas gewechselt. Das hat Krone verwendet, um Kahn zu loten. Oh, wir haben ganz schön viel bekommen jetzt. Scheinwerfer. Warum hat Kahn das vergiftete Glas genommen? Wahrscheinlich die letzte Frage. Wen haben die drei die Straftat begangen? Da wird das hier erst freigeschaltet.
Also hat Yoshi gekauft, das Glas getan. Gift. Also hier, wohin ist Yoshi gegangen? Chemielabor. Hier geht es nicht mehr weiter. Aber keiner vergiftete Glas genommen. Achso, genau. Die Notiz. Okay, es gehen wir wohl noch. Wo ist denn noch was? Bin ich schon wieder blind? Ah, bin ich. Das Suizid. Und jetzt ist nur noch eine Möglichkeit offen. Nämlich Eiko. Und damit hätten wir es. Und dann kommt jetzt wohl nochmal die Zusammenfassung. Oder gleich, nachdem wir zwei ausgeschaltet haben, die drei. Meinte ich nicht zwei. Oh, nicht. This case begins with Aiko's death six months ago. Aiko was thought to have committed suicide by jumping off the roof. In truth, Kaden murdered her. The shoes left on the roof had dirt on them from the flower bed at the crime scene. The blood stains on the bricks were also unnatural. And it was obvious that an amateur had faked it. If it wasn't a suicide, it would contradict Cotton's testimony. However, she didn't originally intend to kill Aiko. It was a crime of passion. So they got into an argument. Cotton saw red, then boom? Women are so scary. Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurane probably realized the truth behind what happened. The three teamed up to avenge Aiko. They used the dress rehearsal to commit this crime. Regardless of the reason, getting together to plan a murder is pretty crazy. Yoshiko was the audience. Was to bring the poisoned glass into the theater hall. Once unsealed, the poison is harmless after 30 minutes. So, she went to the lab 15 minutes after the play began. The poison container is too big to transport unnoticed. So she applied it to the glass in her bag with a paintbrush. Thus, the poison glass was created! She brought it back to the theater hall, then went on standby at the right end of the front row. Warna, who was acting on stage, was to switch out the poisoned glass. During the five-second blackout 30 minutes into the play, Yoshiko placed the poisoned glass in the wings. Warna, on stage, retrieved it and hid it under her costume. Then, in the scene where she approaches the shelf, she exchanged the glass there with the poisoned one. Switching in the murder weapon on stage while everyone is watching? What a pervy exhibitionist! What's perverted about that? And Kurene, on the lights, would guide Cotton to take the poisoned glass. Then came the duel of poison cups! The two glasses on the shelf had juice poured into them. Cotton and Warana shuffled them in a way the audience couldn't see. But Kurene, who was on the catwalk directly above the stage, saw exactly which glass held the poison. She confirmed the location of the poisoned glass and shone the spotlight on it first. Cotton drank from that glass 45 minutes after the start of the play. Winner, winner! Poisoning complete! That was so long! Good job! 
Kurene told Cotton of a change in stage direction, but the victim was to take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton followed this instruction to take the poisoned one. The whole sequence of events for this crime would have been impossible for a single person. Their cooperation was also a means to conceal their involvement. But I can't shake the feeling that there was some other reason behind it. The ruthless, disgusting criminals who conducted this murder are... Yoshiko! Waruna! Kurame! You are the killers! Wait, what? They may have pretended to always be at odds with one another. But deep down, they were bonded through their shared admiration for Aiko. Is my answer. Was there really no other way? Was there no way to prove Cotton did this without killing her? That's not possible. Not in Kanai Ward. The peacekeepers bend the truth whichever way they want to. The three girls couldn't get justice from them. Which led to this crime. But that... it doesn't make it right! How long did you put on an act for this? Aiko... was our sunlight. Wherever she went, we were meant to be there with her. She was... everything to us. We were together, ever since we were young. Her dream was our dream. We were nothing special. But she called us her rivals. Those words encouraged us to carry on. Now she's gone. Everything's hopeless now. The three of us investigated Aiko's death. I used my parents' connections to view top secret case files. But no matter what we did, the peacekeepers refused to reopen the case. Because Karen's father is a big shot at Amaterasu Corporation. That's why we had to do it ourselves. We wanted revenge. Revenge became everything for us. And to get it, we pretended to fight amongst ourselves. We are actors, after all. But we don't have to anymore, right? We don't have to keep this up. We put, we put on quite, quite a show. show. Didn't we, Aiko? <laughs> this leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Then again, most cases do. But that's the end. We can finally return to the real world. I hope the girls open up like that in the real world, too. No. I don't think they can. Huh? Why is that? Oh, also, <laughs> where's Shinigami? Right here. Well, what do you think? Did you fall in love with me? I know you did. You must have, yeah? I already told you.
I will never fall for you. You are seriously getting on my nerves. You're annoying and exhausting. Uh, Desuhiko? <laughs> Did you think I was serious? <laughs> I was just testing the bond between you two. <laughs> Bond? It's more like a curse, at least to me. Uh, right. <laughs> I was just testing. I, <laughs> I wasn't serious <laughs> at all. <laughs> I didn't get rejected, okay? I did it. Uh, all right. Just calm down. Anyway, let's do it. Time to exterminate the souls of the true culprits and destroy the mystery labyrinth. Wait, Shinigami, do we really have to do this? I mean, they... They're murderers. The reason why doesn't matter. I make my living reaping the souls of criminals. Because I'm Shinigami! Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. The brilliant soul of Shinigami. Shall expunge this cursed face! 